everybody, it's Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. And today I have a little treat. I'm gonna walk you guys through the E60 M5, how to configure dynamic mode, and what makes this car so Jekyll and Hyde-like. Why is it such a fun car one day and the next day it's just that comfortable ride just to get you to the groceries? Well, before we get onto that, I also wanna mention, later in the video, I wanna talk about something that I'm gonna be promoting here shortly, very shortly, I'm gonna have another video coming up and I'm super stoked about it, so I really hope you guys stick around to the end of the video and find out what I plan on doing here. I've got a project here coming up. Please do stick around to the end of the video to find out. But for now, we're gonna talk about the E60 M5 that I'm driving here today and how to configure dynamic mode and how to navigate some of the M drive features in this car. So let's take a look. See, right now, obviously, I'm just cruising along in default mode. You start the key, you drive off, and there, there you go. It's easy to drive. It's a pretty straightforward car to operate. As a matter of fact, it's almost operating like an automatic because in default, it defaults to automatic mode and you can just set off, you go, and uh, you know, you could be drinking your coffee, have your cigarette, doing your makeup, which I don't promote any of those while you're driving. But I mean, for those that do, I mean, it's a very easy car to drive when you want it to be that function, right? You, when you want it to be that simple car just to get you from A to B. As you can see right now, I'm just driving along more or less hands-free, it's a very simple car to drive. That is one of the appeals of the E60 M5, is that it really has the two sides to it. It has the simpleton, drive easy, kind of just set it up and go, and, and you know, just to truck along and really mind your own business and not worry too much about anything. The other side, of course, is the way you can configure the car. And that's what really gets me excited about this machine. To be honest, that's one of the things why I really fell in love with this car in the first place. When I first saw this car was was brought out by the press, you know, the, the first sets of hands got their, uh, you know, got their mitts on this car and talked about some of the, the different features and elements and how it was such a great car on one hand. On the other hand, it was a little bit cumbersome and dopey. But here I'm gonna talk about how to configure that aggressive, exciting mode. And I'm gonna show you guys step by step how you can configure this on the iDrive interface or we'll call it the M Drive interface. So stick around, let's take a look. So first thing what we do is we activate with the iDrive controller here below. That's basically how we get the ball rolling. And you'll notice this is the early variety M5 E60. This is in 2006. The 2008 and newer have a slightly revised version, but this is where you'll activate that. Of course, menu to back out. So go in. And what you do, you can go a bunch of different ways. There's climate control, we'll back out. Communication, we'll back out. Navigation, this thing has navigation on it as well. We'll back out of that. And entertainment below, we don't really care. Let's go center, press the knobby in the middle. Now, see this is what's so cool about this car. So we can do a few different things here with this car. Of course you've got info sources. We go there, and this is where you find your service information, travel information. We don't really care about that too much. So we'll go back in, M drive, settings, and so on and so forth. So if we go into settings, this is where you can find some pretty cool stuff. This is where you'll find things like audio settings. You go in there, that's, you can fully adjust your stereo system there. You go into display settings. And now you can adjust your heads up display, your brightness, how bright you want it. Look at this, you can maximize that, minimize the, the brightness of your display, of your heads up. So let's back out of that. Steering wheel buttons, fully customizable. So as you can see, you've got things like navigation, voice instructions, air circ, mute, monitor. The list goes on and on. So let's back out of there. You know, obviously you can adjust everything. Tires, you know, vehicle and tire stuff. You can do door locks, lighting. Look at that. Triple turn signal. That's when you toggle your, your turn switch. It'll give you three quick strokes or three quick strokes of the light. Pathway lighting. Uh, 30 seconds. No, I want it 25 seconds. How about that? Back out of that. We can do other things. Door locks. How do you want that configured? You want to unlock the button driver's door only. Deactivated last seat position. You want that deactivated. I mean, there's a, a, a plethora of things you can do here. But 
More importantly, let's get into the M drive, and this is the juice. So we're gonna go into M drive mode. As you can see, if you watch one of my previous videos, you know that you have to configure some information here. You have to go to the DriveLogic S Sport 6 if you wanna do launch control, but that's one feature which is available through this car. Now obviously, look at all the goodies that you can do here. So S5 is your standard 500. If you don't like 500, you can go You can switch that to drive mode or sport mode, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. Or you can switch it to whatever mode you want here. See, you activate this sport five, and right here where you pre-configure that, that you actually get 500 horsepower in the M conditions. Now this M drive is based on you activating the M button. So when you activate the M button on the steering wheel, these things all engage, which in this case is Sport 5. EDC, Sport Mode. So that's your, your suspension dampening control. So you want it in Sport Settings. Now you can change that. You can do Sport, Normal, Comfort, or just leave it. So we'll leave it in Sport Mode. That's the most aggressive mode. We want our, um, our differential settings. DSC. We want that as well, M dynamic mode. So that's your differential control. So the one is suspension. The other one is your differential. So right now we have it in the M dynamic mode. And of course you can dial that on, off, unchanged, or leave it in dynamic mode so that when you activate the M button, it actually gives you that dynamic, the aggressive uh, differential settings. Power, here we go. We're talking about the P500 Sport. So you can change that to P500 Sport was 507 horsepower, P500 which is 500 horsepower, P400 which is the default 400 horsepower. So we'll leave it P500 because that's where we want it when we activate the M button. So we go back in, M drive, and the backrest. This gets interesting too because now you have comfort, normal, and sport. In sport mode, that's where you've got the active bolsters. So if you've never experienced that, you've, it's hard to imagine, but there's nothing quite like it when you're hitting the corners hard and this car activates the, the active bolsters, which basically sucks you into the seats twice as hard. Then of course you can activate the head up display, M mode, you can do unchanged M view, which you like that. But actually the way I've got it set up, I've got the heads up display activated constantly right now. And then reset to default. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. This thing passes pretty much everything but the gas station. So I hope that shed a bunch of light on it for you guys. What, why this car is so appealing. You know, it's got the easy side and it's got the hard driving side. And you know what? Like I said, there is a, you know, the, the beauty of driving a Lamborghini or a Ferrari is because it's so extreme. But does that make it a really great daily driver? Generally, most cases not. I mean, the Huracan, they say now, is finally at a point where it's a lot more user friendly and it's a lot nicer to drive day to day. And primarily because of the suspension, the magnetic suspension because the dual clutch transmission and all that, which does make it a little softer and easier for everyday use. But generally as a whole, supercars are not meant to be nice to drive every day. They're meant to be hard and aggressive and loud, but they're not going to be that nice to drive day to day, going in and out, getting in and out for work, short trips, they're not really that great for that. Well, that's what's so nice about these E60 M5s, is you can configure that day to day mode, but you can go for that hard, aggressive rip rip snort and drive here on the weekend and that's why I love this car so again I hope you enjoyed the video now what I talked about in the beginning of the video I just want to circle around here before I let you guys go and really what I was going to talk about this project I've got coming up now I had briefly touched on it on a previous video of mine but I'm going to expand on that a little bit more now I'm going to be also talking more about my Lamborghini Gallardo that I have and I'm going to call it Gallardo Project. Now really what that is, is I'm going to be undertaking 
a bunch, a venture into a bunch of different modifications. I would say largely cosmetic, possibly some performance, but I'm looking for you guys out there to give me some ideas. Give me some ideas, but ultimately designed for a Lamborghini Gallardo, and they are tasteful, send them my way, guys, and we're gonna actually involve you guys in this custom project. And I'm reaching out to vendors out there, might have parts laying around that they, they'd love to see on a Lamborghini. I, I reach out to you guys. Do you guys want to participate in this project? You know what, if you do, I welcome that. Send me a personal message, whatever, and let me know what you'd like to see on my car. I, uh, I, I'm basically going to be responding to any kind of suggestions, advice, on what might look good or work the best on my Gallardo. I'm, I'm really leaving it up to you guys, the fans, to potentially create the ultimate in Gallardo. You guys tell me what you want to see on this car. So anyway, we're gonna leave it at that for now. Very short order. I'd expect to start seeing parts being, being basically applied to the car. So you guys, I hope you like this video. In summary, please do subscribe, like, share, comment, and again, Please do stick around. There's gonna be many more M5 videos, many X5 videos, because I've got an X5 as well, and if you like those too, I've got a lot of great videos coming up on that. And of course, the Lamborghini videos to follow too. So please stick around, be sure to subscribe, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.